you're welcome to my youtube channel my name is sharon please subscribe before watching this video we are going to look at the practical application of present value and that is loan amortization amortization refers to spreading payments over multiple periods so loan amortization refers to spreading the repayments of a loan over multiple periods like you cannot repay a loan in just one day you have to spread it over multiple periods you may decide to pay 1 million annually that is what we call loan amortization so we are going to look at how to amortize for a loan using present value in this video let's look at an example suppose a firm borrows shillings 10 million we are borrowing 10 million at 10 percent interest our interest is 10 percent to be repaid in the next five years our aim is five years and they're saying eco installments are required at the end of each year eco installments that is annuity at the end of each year for five years that is already annuity and these payments must be sufficient to repay the principal sum together with the interest and they're telling us to draw up a loan amortization schedule to show how the loan would be repaid from our question they told us equal installments are required at the end of each year yeah equal installments are required at the end of each year for five years and that is annuity but they have not given us that equal installment so we are going to first calculate for that equal installment for that installment that is supposed to be repaid at the end of each year and we shall calculate for it using the formula of annuity present value of annuity so we shall first use the formula of present value of annuity in order for us to calculate for that equal installment yeah, and the formula is a into brackets 1 minus into brackets 1 plus i power negative n out of i where pv is the present value of annuity a is the annuity that equal installment that we are looking for then i is the interest rate and n is period in years from our question our present value is 10 million our n is five years and our interest rate is 10 percent so we shall use the formula of present value of annuity in order for us to calculate for that equal installment that is supposed to be paid each year and that is our formula a into brackets 1 minus into brackets 1 plus i power negative n out of i then the next thing we shall do is to substitute in we already have the present value our present value is 10 million so we put it there equals to a is what we are looking for then into brackets 1 minus into brackets 1 plus our interest rate is 10 percent which is the same as 0 0.1 and our n is 5 power negative 5 out of i which is 0 0.1 when we do the math using a calculator for everything in the brackets we get 3.7908 yes so 10 million equals to a into brackets 3.7 908 since it's a that we are looking for we shall divide both sides by 3.7908 in order for us to determine the value of a and when we use a calculator our a is 2,637,966 yugi x and that is the equal installment that will be paid each year then after finding our equal installment we are going to draw a schedule because in the question they asked for a loan amortization schedule our schedule is going to have five columns and we shall have the column of years we shall have the column of annual payment we shall have the column of annual interest we shall have the column of principal repayment and we shall have the column of loan outstanding 
in our schedule we shall start with year zero and year zero our annual payment we don't have any annual payment we don't have annual interest we don't have principal repayment but it's when we got the loan so the loan outstanding is 10 million yeah then in year one year one our annual payment is what we calculated as our annuity annuity the amount that is that equal installment that is going to be paid each year so our annual payment is two million six hundred thirty seven thousand nine hundred sixty six yeah then annual interest interest we had in our question there was interest of 10 percent so we shall calculate 10 percent of 10 million and 10 percent of 10 million is 1 million yes so our annual interest is 1 million then principal repayment principal repayment in order for us to get the principal repayment we shall get annual payment minus interest we get the principal repayment and when you subtract two million six hundred thirty seven thousand nine hundred sixty six minus one million we get one million six hundred thirty seven thousand nine hundred sixty six and that is our principal repayment then loan outstanding in order for us to get loan outstanding we get the loan outstanding of the previous year for year zero which is 10 million minus the principal repayment that is 10 million minus 1 million six hundred thirty seven thousand nine hundred sixty six and when we subtract that our loan outstanding for year one will be eight million three hundred sixty two thousand thirty four and that is the loan outstanding for year one then for year two year two annual payment it's still the annuity the two million six hundred thirty seven thousand nine hundred sixty six then annual interest we shall calculate ten percent of the outstanding of the loan outstanding for year one in order for us to get the annual interest for year two then principal repayment we shall subtract annual payment minus annual interest in order for us to get the principal repayment and then loan outstanding for year two we shall get loan outstanding for year one minus principal repayment for year two in order for us to get loan outstanding for year two then we shall do the same thing like what we've done in year two we shall do the same thing for year three year four and year five and you have to make sure that by the end of the last year the outstanding balance is zero yeah the outstanding balance is zero and that is the loan amortization schedule that they asked for in the question thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe like comment share with your friends and watch my next video we shall be talking about the second topic of financial management that is personal finance and this has been the end of introduction to fm and time value of money